Hello, and welcome to Heartfire Tales. In lieu of our usual sketches, we've decided to let OpenAI write this one. So, we put this prompt in less than 30 seconds ago and do not know what it contains. Here we go. Welcome to the Adventures in Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Join us as we follow the epic tales of our intrepid adventurers as they brave the perils of the mysterious and dangerous world of Dungeons and and dragons. Our heroes have just entered the dungeon, ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Stay alert, everyone. We don't know what's lurking in these dark corridors. In a haughty voice. Huh. Fear not, my friend, with my vast knowledge of magic. I can handle any foe that dares to cross our path. And with my stealth and cunning, I can easily scout ahead and disable any traps that may be lurking in the shadows. And I, with my trusty loot, will provide the perfect soundtrack to our adventure with my epic ballads of bravery and valor. Will our heroes succeed in their quest? Tune in to find out. Until next time, may your dice always roll in your favor. <laughs> I mean, that was the most generic <laughs> 70s D&D &D shit in the world. Yeah. Like, let's instantly establish that thieves are sneaky, yeah. mages are haughty. <laughs> like, I I'm surprised the bar it. didn't have sex with someone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I actually, the sad thing is it's better than we've been doing. Yeah. Yeah. I love that you read the stage prompt as well. That's that's very funny. <laughs> I mean, we got to do something that the AI can't. <laughs> that's, that's how we get them. That's how we beat the robot uprising. Read the stage prompt. Wait a minute. Yeah. This isn't my world. <laughs> Disappointed! <laughs> oh, fuck that, yeah, uh, oh dear, oh dear. 100%. Welcome back to Harfar Tales and Lethwan, the land of might, magic, and of course, Morrissey. Morris. Oh, right, yeah. He yeah. was a smith, right? He was the smith. Yeah. He was yeah. a smith. Yeah. A, uh, he was the leader of the smiths, you might say. Yeah. What a, um, what a dude. <laughs> oh, I didn't get that the last time. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys should all go back through all of the episodes and listen and just try to think what other things I've snuck in there. Because there's been a couple, I think. That we haven't tagged? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Sure. I nice. mean, it took you a, lot, it took you a while to get. Uh, the last resort and Papa Aaron as well. Admittedly, that was no, that was that I was a tough one. That was, that was that was tough. I, I had fair. no that idea that tough. that dude's name was Aaron. So. I mean, uh, like you, I'm one of it was not, four yeah. people in the world who may have got that joke. Like, yes. <laughs> Yeah. It wasn't until we went back there and then you said something about Yeah, it. no, because I was so oh, annoyed. Sorry, you, you dropped Aaron. errands. You just said Papa's yeah. last resort yeah, the next time. Yeah, I know, because I, like, I was so oh, annoyed. Wait, wait, I was like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I really need this to come out and be acknowledged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry, I, Pat, yeah, that was good. Um, that was good. But yes, uh, Marcy being the the leader of, uh, well, one of the members of the Iron Circle. Um, but I'm not going to give any more recap details because I gave a big old recap last time. So yeah. I'm going to make you guys roll for recap and I'm going to stay out of it because... I can't remember. Is it, is it roll low recap? Yeah. I want to do it. Oh, you want it? Okay. Okay. Looking forward to I rolling mean, that dice. But you, can't you, just... you can roll it anyway. Yeah, you can't Tell turn you what, those emotions Jim, off. Jim, roll this know? and I'm going to say that this is a portent roll that I'm going to get to decide when it's used. Oh, shit. Okay. Just, <laughs> I don't know. Why not? 15. 15, that's all okay. right. That's, yeah. a, that's a pretty decent one. Number of dragons to fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Number us... of mortal blows you receive. <laughs> give us a recap there, Ryan. So at night, you know, we've had a lot going on. Khan has gone into Sid's, you know, room. Khan is aware that uh, Sid hasn't been sleeping well. Um, you know, he's been having a lot of nightmares and there's been a lot on Khan's mind. You know, he's feeling a lot of guilt. So he decides to go into uh, Sid's room just to check on him. Mm. When he's in there, he sees uh, Sid's journal. Mm. And he decides, you know, I've never actually really had a look at this. And he flips it open so he can get this a recap. This is a wild of recap. Yeah. <laughs> What's like, going on? I, don't, I don't remember any of this happening. Yeah, but I, I, I now see where he's going. Yeah, I, can, I get what he's doing now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what he reads. <laughs> 
So, like, this has been the <laughs> coolest day ever. I mean, it started out, like, really bad. You know, I, I didn't have Axel with me. Like, Axel's been kind of a jerk. You know, he's my best friend growing up. But now I've left town out on my own adventures. And I found this really cool town, and they're having a battle of the bands. I could finally join a band of my own, and that's great. I got Fink with me. He's in on this. But we go up, and you have to have, like, people with you. You can't just, you know, just be assigned. And I find this really, really cool dude that helped me, like, really put some dudes in their place. And he was, like, super nice to me and has really taught me so much over this entire time. And we ended up, like, I think we should have won this Battle of the Bands, but we, like, got second place. And, you know, that's pretty cool. But, like, we ended up getting, like, signed. So now, like, this, this whole thing is actually happening. And we're actually getting to go out on these adventures and be a real band. But, like, crazy stuff is happening. Like, all of nature is just going crazy. Everywhere we go, it's like fire raining from the sky. There's, like, weird animals everywhere. There's, like, eagles getting real big. There's people getting turned into fish. Like, everything's going crazy. I think I totally would have gone home by this point because I'm having a hard time. But, like, Khan's been really looking out for me. And it's been really cool. Like, I feel like I've learned so much. I feel like I'm a way better fighter than I used to be. I mean, I feel like Khan holds back a lot when we get into battles. Like, <laughs> he's always trying to push me to the front lines. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> but then we, like, we, like, so we've recently, you know, made it into uh, this town. And we're doing missions as, like, a real band. And we went and we helped these dudes up on the mountain. And I met Stormzy, the actual Stormzy, which was crazy. And we went to Elemental Plains, like, stuff I've only read about. Like, I had no idea I'd get to see all this stuff. And Khan was like, you know, I pulled some practical jokes on it, but Khan was, like, looking out for me the whole time. And I was really struggling because Fink was having a hard time. He's getting knocked down a lot in battles. But Khan really, like, pulled me aside and helped get all that together. And now we're just, like, really making waves, man. Like... People were respecting us. Last night, like, Khan, like, stood in front of this entire town and was like, no, you're having problems, you're seeing nightmares, you're, you're, everybody in this town is holding back and not helping each other, and you all need to change what you're doing. And just seeing Khan up there and seeing people push against him and him standing against this entire crowd, I was like, man, that's what I want to be. You know, I want to be like that. But the thing is, like, I can't let him know. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice um yeah speaking of standing up in front of an entire town or so yeah where we left off on the last time uh, you guys had just kind of had that quasi confrontation well no it was a full-on confrontation with, with marcy the yeah. one of the iron circle members who kind of yeah. um stormed off and was very much like if you guys you know want to deal with this foolishness like this then go ahead um seemed very much of the opinion that you know you guys were brought here to do two things find storms and talk to nadini and that's all he wanted you to to do and that's all kind of you know what aaron as well another member of the iron circle was trying to get you to do but obviously you guys have found out about these weird dreams and stuff have gone said you've been plagued by them yourself even going as far as to you know have whoever this as Jim has been calling it uh, off mic, <laughs> we've been talking about it, this dream, the dream wizard. wizard. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk directly into your head. Uh, and just to quickly recap, you guys have found out that kind of two main constants about him, that there is uh, mainly people who have either, who really, really fear loss or losing people or who have lost people. And particularly remember, uh, a girl around your age said that you talked to who had lost her father. Um, you told me there weren't any small town girls there. And then there was yeah, a small he, town girl. Yeah. yeah, I know. And she was lonely with her dreams. So yeah. She was living in a lonely world. She was living in a lonely world, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to derail it. <laughs> derail? Is that you being like real clever? No. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, so yeah, you guys have kind of like, um, with the help of uh, Brethnock, one of the kind of veterans who kind of runs community outreach kind of like um like good mm. policing of of the town and, and yeah. area um i've kind of like they had this like big group therapy session and kind of like 
teased out all of these dreams of the people um, that have come to your gathering. And yeah, you've kind of figured out that uh, as well as the, the whole loss element too, that the dreams seem to be confined or not confined, but more intense uh, towards where you know the Nadini are kind of hanging out. Exactly, which is off to the west? Uh, east. East, east. Kind of, east. Just kind of like yeah. northeast. A yeah. little, little bit northeast. Um, but yeah, uh, it's probably early afternoon after you guys have kind of like had this like confrontation. You've kind of spent a few hours talking to everyone. Um, you're in the inn in Papa Aaron's Last Resort. What do you do? I'm going to just grab Sid, take him aside. Um, Good morning, then. Oh yeah, I drugged you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. uh, you're probably I, just coming. Like yeah, yeah. you're still like kind of hung over from the because I was drugged the the night before. Yeah, yeah. and it's like the yeah, yeah, it's like afternoon now because yeah. it was like but a double drug. Also I, had like I put a you massive down and then we brought rush. you. Yeah. We gave you oxies as well. Yeah, you so yeah. you're like yeah. crashing yeah. naturally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, how's how's the form? I uh, feel like my heart has like. Done all the beating it needs to do for the next like month. <laughs> yeah, you just you just ride that for a few hours now and you'll be fine. Um listen, you did real good there helping the others out in the therapy, like real, real, real strong, bit of a showing a bit of leadership. I like that. But listen, um between you and me, I need you to I think for the first time in a long time now I've got I've got a face to slap in front of me and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it my goal to slap that face. So I just, what? <laughs> if you not your face, Me? don't worry. No, no, no. Although, would you like a slap? Would that wake you up? Uh, no. I slap it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Dude, I don't know what's going on. Oh, it worked. He's awake. All right. Um, listen, I need you to tell me. Are Are we all slapping Sid? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Melody slaps you. <laughs> Sid looks at Melody and is like, think so? "Dude, <laughs> just yeah. think. Yeah, you think a tail I'll, whip or think something. Also, like, you a little tail whip. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now that you're awake. <laughs> He points at Fink and goes, Fink, I know you were rustling around with my journal last night. It wasn't on the page I left uh, it on. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think back to that. I'm so, so proud of myself. Um, but yeah, uh, I need you to tell me everything, everything you can remember about this guy in your dreams. Well, for one, like, I don't even really like going to the theater that much and this dude has been bringing me to his dream theater hey <laughs> i was planning on making that exact same joke <laughs> yeah. i was afraid of that i was like i gotta get there first yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was gonna say it too the dude I think but... we were all racing for it <laughs> yeah. i said it in the car and dylan was like don't make that joke <laughs> <laughs> too late um yeah so like i mean he's got like a Real gruff voice, you know, like when dudes like try too hard to like impress girls and stuff. I know? do, like lower their voice, like real low, like. Uh, like oh, I do. Uh, I know that. Yeah, I know well. <laughs> yeah, but that kind of like mixed with a snake. All right, so he's a snaky low man. Did yeah. you get a look at him? No, I never saw him. But if I could think of what I would imagine he looks like based on his voice, yeah, I would say he probably wears like a black and purple robe. I like one of those like real cringe yeah, edgelord yeah the type. real try hard wizard like uh, probably got green skin and real bug eyes like a frog you think <laughs> all right well look yeah. good to keep an eye out for him I look I see Fisher out of the corner of my eyes like, oh no it's just Fisher <laughs> um <laughs> he's a gentleman <laughs> yeah no sorry he's got human eyes like he's drinking with his pinky up from a teacup like. <laughs> cannon confirmed <laughs> yes no <laughs> yeah. no. <laughs> I look at him, he's such a positive <laughs> influence in the society. He is, um, yeah. And l l t tell me this, and did did All he right. come to you, or did you find him in your dream? No, like, okay. So I know I've been kind of, like, cagey about what happened, but if it turns out it's, like, a magical wizard and not me just, like, dealing with puberty and stuff, then I'll be a little bit more open about this. So, uh... Hold on, sorry. It's absolutely all right to be open about changes that are happening with your body during puberty. Like, that's... If you need to talk about those things, you find someone you talk about. That's, Look, that's I saw what healthy. happened to Fink when he went through puberty growing up. <laughs> I think Fink is a nice We looked down, incident. We looked out at Fink where his skin is like torn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like slightly on fire. Yeah. <laughs> like, so um, I'm going to try to handle this on my own. Not ready to talk about it yet. Uh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but 
So this dude, I don't think he's a nice guy. One, you know, nightmares in general. But literally made me watch, like, think be murdered by, like, my mentor growing up. All right, shit. So he's, he's playing. He's playing onto your fears, is he? Yeah. All right. Listen, Sid, I'm, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to go and have a wee chat with this lad. I think I'm going to. I mean, we're supposed to be going that direction. Well, we know he's to the east. We're going to Nadini, right? Aye, he's off in the east, but um. So why don't we? I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna do something a little more immediate, I think. Um, and I ask Fanny to get me like some of the knockout tea. Um, you still have some of the knockout tea yourself as well, but um. Yeah, but I want it hot. I'm not a barbarian. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you go up and ask her. <laughs> she wants. Um, yeah, cocoa she leaves. leaves. <laughs> so I want a hot drop, like you know. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, oh sure thing, Con. Yeah, look, I'm. Um, Wait, what's that, Con? Uh, also, uh, it's 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 just I'm old. My bones hurt, and I need tea to sleep properly. Um, look, I really appreciate what you've what you've been doing here. Um, I think you know, having looking around, everyone, uh, everyone seems you know, everyone seemed nervous at first, but they seem kind of fairly positive about the whole situation. That's that's good. That's good. So um, yeah, just wanna just wanna. Well, look, that's the main thanks. thing. People talking, shared experiences. This is how you get through stuff like this. this. this? This is um, By the way, uh, I just want to apologize real quick about uh, the incredible vest that you made for Fink. I did not know he was going to catch on fire. Uh, oh, it is like Fink on fire right now. Yeah, he's oh, I mean, he's caught on fire right since. <laughs> Has he? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. He's only, he only put it into like yesterday. I don't think he's gone on fire yet. I mean, we did just say he's rocking a smolder this very oh, yeah. long. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, and yeah. I don't mean like, well, you know, a glare at the camera. <laughs> like. Yeah, then, sorry, what I mean to say is I'm worried he may go on fire soon. Oh, God, um, well... And since most of your stuff here is made out of sawdust... Well, I, 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 didn't, I, don't, I don't tend to put the sawdust in the clothes, um, but... Uh, I look at the clothes real yeah. close. <laughs> um, well, if you want, I could maybe... Um, Oh, I could talk to maybe some of the some of the smiths around and you know some of their their leather aprons and stuff. I could maybe make a lining of that that could, might be some some Flame sort of fireproofing. Retarded? Yeah, that'd be great. Dress him like a superhero. Aye, nice. Sure, yeah. If that's uh, I can do that. I mean, I would hate to see my the handiwork go go to waste. Will I? I can get work on that as a, as a way of saying thanks. I I gladly do that for you. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll yeah. For sure. A, Thank you very I'll much. Give Fink a double thumbs up. Think also gives a really weird. Yeah, does rat he have opposable thumbs? No, got rat hands. That, that he's would got be rat hands. too he's scary. Just, he just kind of turns his rat hands. To yeah, his, like the fawn. Rat yeah. hands are kind of like thummy. Yeah, yeah. he kind of just like puts his like makes a fist but keeps his thumb out a, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, she makes she makes you a, a big cup of um tranquility. I think tranquility. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, we could have called it Serenity as well. Lots of things to call it. Yeah, <laughs> called it. Yeah, we'll keep that one back. Um, all right. Well, yeah. Look, uh, I'm gonna go upstairs. Um, I'm already pretty exhausted from having stayed awake. Yeah, you've watching... got, you've been up. You've been up early. Like, yeah, yeah. So, um, I uh, I'm gonna go up, uh, drink the tranquility, and uh, try and put my head down because I'm a soldier. I'm gonna be able to just go to sleep like this. Very used to catching forty winks when I need to. Like, sure, you know? yeah, and I think with the, with the, uh, with the tea, yeah, you kind of you know only takes you a couple of minutes to. i to go to sleep. I've been planning to fuck his dream wizard for so long, right? Uh, <laughs> so, for so long, I mean, since last episode, yeah. <laughs> you've never rolled poorly. So <clears throat> yeah, yeah, give me a, a wisdom saving throw then. Um. Okay. Uh, what if you want to fail? Well, that's it. I'm trying. I want to. I want, yeah, so I'm just going to roll the wisdom saving throw and see if you it happens have to naturally dream, first. Though. But what, do you know what? I'm not going to give you a roll just yet because I want to okay. kind of try and think. I want to get myself to that point Ooh. where you're almost dreaming and then I want to you could have, think. You could have Melody do those like sine waves on like like bow and on her cello. Fuck yeah, can I have Melody oh, do yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think Melody can probably help you out that way. Um, Between Sid's knowledge of it, because his mom was a, is a dream dreamer. Walker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah, I think you just tell them what like frequency to hit, and they pull out a, a whatever instrument from their bag yeah. and are able to, it's, uh, to do it. A, what's it called? It um, a, you, a, what's it called? A theremin. <laughs> you could probably hit it on a cello. But. Yeah. 
<laughs> they told me they could fucking full cello. <laughs> they have a full drum kit you, in there. You said yeah. it was a bag of holding. Yeah, right? no. <laughs> uh, okay, so describe to me what's happening here. What I want to like kind of turn off any kind of like just pure soldier mindfulness, turn off any kind of distracting thoughts and just let myself exist in this like kind of quasi almost falling to sleep state. Okay. Um, have you ever seen Stranger Things? Yes. Yeah. I build a little pool. The yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fine. And I want to um, close my eyes and just let myself exist. And then I want to think as loud as I can. Um, okay. Well, are you there? Are you listening? Say, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, how about you? <laughs> is that something I hear? Or is that no, you? That, that's, that's me <laughs> half getting into character, half thinking. Because I was like, that's, how, that's how he started. That is how I started. <laughs> yeah, you, you almost have me in there, <laughs> Jim. Keep, um, Let's all close our eyes and think about it. I'll, yeah. tell, you, I'll tell you this, Jim. I'm not going to make you roll or anything because you, you've just gone through it. So I think Khan would have, and it's been a while since we've recorded. Mm. So I'm going to give you this, right? Yeah. Khan would know that the best way to draw his attention would be to have a nightmare or something that seemed to be it seemed to have taken a few nightmares and a few kind of like bad thoughts yeah and that like emotions and stuff to really actually draw people okay um well i'm i'm sure the dice have told you but Khan doesn't have nightmares <laughs> so well yeah i've been trying to Khan figure is, out how to what Khan how to, is like, going process to do that is, in my head he's you know, the whole thing with, like, um, Adam and, and Marion and stuff is still mm. relatively fresh. There's all the stuff with Sid. Uh, he thinks about Sid lashing out at him on the mountain and lets that kind of get under his skin, his, his, skin, his skin a little bit. Mm. Um, and just generally, I'm going to just reflect on the, um, on the <laughs> bad kind of things that have happened recently. Okay. About when I was burying Sid, Melody, and Fink in the clouds. And then how embarrassed I oh, was yeah, after. God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and how angry I was. <laughs> how so, so angry. <laughs> Give me... A death save? Got it. Persuasion check with advantage. This is kind of literally just for you, for you to like kind of send out this kind of like signal through like your own raw sense of self i rolled a three and a one <sighs> but you have put yourself into i'm gonna this... think louder again okay i'm gonna be like i come on you're I not think, scared I think, are you i think you you do that and you know you're kind of in this kind of quasi half sleep half awake state like the the effect of this tranquility has like, you know, just like at the moment, it's just like very like dulling your senses, but you're, you're also actively trying to stay awake to kind of, you know, yeah, it's kind of a thing where like, you know, when you're like falling asleep and you, you like a thought gets away from you and becomes its own thing and you have to like reel it back in. So at the moment I'm just fighting to how about keep this? myself present and not letting the dream state overtake me. You I was know? just thinking mm -hmm. that Sid could help. Okay. Got him asleep, you know, yeah. he's asleep at this point. Yeah with her playing the sine wave stuff. And and so I have Sid be like, hey, Melody, do you like happen to know any of the common lullabies that would be sung to children around that area that maybe Miriam would have sung to Adolf? So fucked up. I love it. Yeah. And I think Melody kind of like, they kind of like keep going with the, the cello. I keep kind of this like, this like real like low resonant noise and then start with like just on like an like open string like you know down just you know and then like with their like fretting hand start like fretting out one of the like the melodies of those lullabies mm. but then every so often just like adds in like an off note and like so it's like, like a dissonant minor note yeah so it starts mm. off like you know it's really kind of soothing at first but then there's this like weird like drone in the background and then like the lullaby like just starts to like distort mm. a lot um and as you do that you feel yourself 
unwillingly dreaming. Okay. And Con. Let me just get up my notes for Con's dreams. So I <laughs> close Blow, ten episodes ago. First. Blow the dust off these. <laughs> <things. laughs> Let me go search in my <laughs> my library. Even now, we actually like massage this out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, it's just so stoic. <laughs> <laughs> Not dreaming. Dreaming's for soft lads. <laughs> you've been hunting a monster for a couple of days. You know, you've been helping out a small farmer family in just some backwater town. You haven't had any luck determining what it is, but you decide to do, like, you know, just like a big sweep of the area, investigate, you know, the usual dens of beasts and monsters that kind of might be out there. Mm. And eventually you track it down to, like, a nearby river cave. As you enter, there's like, you know, those like flies and insects around the entrance, um, just kind of like annoying, like nipping at you, just the way insects around like a riverbed would be, you know? Yeah. You think nothing of it, you finally find the beast and the, the dream kind of like, you know, skips over that a, a bit and you, you don't really, in, in the way dreams are, you kind of just, it happens, but you don't really know what's happening, you just know yeah. it has happened. Um. But you finally find this that's been like, terrorizing this farmer's livestock uh, and you kill it in turn and ensure this that this old couple have a continued way of life uh, and safety but one of those insect bites gets like bigger and bigger and doesn't seem to to heal and like you call out to to lou for for guidance and for healing but you begin to feel woozy you feel weak helpless powerless as your strength fades and fades you're walking but you're not near any town you're trying to find the nearest town trying to find someone to help you and as you walk you stumble first to one knee then to both find your arms give out and you just slam to the ground and your eyes closing i fight to keep them open i want to stay in this dream space for a moment and okay. i want to say ah oh, you're here aren't you i can hear you i can sense you come out or are you too scared Interesting. Most to leave in fear and abandon, but you, you're clinging on. Why? That I am not clinging on. I'm standing up in the face of you. You coward. <laughs> I'm a coward. You're the one that's. Lying asleep, dreaming your worst fears. Hi, and uh, is this what you do then? Is this what you do? You look for people's fears, collect their pain, show them little scary things that haven't happened. What I do is I seek to understand, and your dreams are nothing but a playground for my desires. A playground? That's very funny. It's very funny, but what is it you desire? Why should I tell you? You're here in my dream? Or is it your dream? This never happened to me. Or well, maybe this did. He shows you another dream. Okay. Bring it on. For this one, give me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Actually, you know, I will... Give me a wisdom saving throw. You're gonna Can kinda... I say Go on, go on. No, I don't want to. I don't want to show you my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This has become not Khan and the Dream Wizard. This has become Jim and Dylan. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is a bit of meta meta dueling here, but um Can I say for reasons I won't tell you, DM, that I want to make this wisdom saving throw with advantage? And you as my noble DM. <laughs> We'll just go with it. I'll allow it. <laughs> Only because I'm interested. Okay. 19 on the dice. 12 on the dice. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Yeah, 19. <laughs> Thought I had a modifier. Mm. Turns out I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> 19. Okay. It's also wild that I've never failed one with no modifier. Yeah, yeah it's, it's honestly statistically so unlikely. I'd written more of these for you than I have for Ryan. <laughs> yeah, because I've got a plus two. <laughs> yeah. um, with a 19, but the fact that you're you're not necessarily fighting it, 
but you kind of feel I this you feel this kind of presence in your head and you kind of you're within your own kind of dreamscape now but it's slightly distorting and it's becoming a little bit more like the space that Sid had described to you, the stream theater. Because mm. um, we're all going to say it at some point. Yeah. And He's constructing a dream theater around <laughs> me. <laughs> and you find, like, you feel this like presence try to like invade into your mind, but like, just whatever deep resource of like mental strength and fortitude that Khan has is mm-hmm. just like rebuffing him mm-hmm. but you can kind of tell that he's like reading your surface thoughts and like give me an insight check actually and if you want to use your something ain't right ability I'll let you use it, do oh, it with yeah. advantage. nice okay that's, that's how I should have tried to get that advantage earlier <laughs> I gained one uh, it was insight wasn't it yeah uh, that's a negative near nothing. That's sorry, I'll do that again. That's uh, also a zero because it's maximum. Um, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. You kind of get the feeling that he is trying to like jigsaw puzzle you out from the dreams of people around you. Yeah. From the dreams that maybe Melody has had, from the dreams that, you know, Sid has had, and just like other surface thoughts he's kind of reading your surface thoughts as well i'm gonna have to, i'm gonna change what this dream was going to be because you can't get in mm. you have a dream of a battle but to you you can tell with your insight that he's trying to access your memories of holy thunder force and the fall of holy thunder force but all the details are just wrong. You know, it's it's the wrong time of day. Like these are memories mm. are probably seared into cons. Oh, it's fabricated. I can tell. You know, this it's is fabricated. So fabricated. Yeah. This is like a third hand retelling of something that never yeah, like, happened this way. It, it's like, you know, a person like dying in your arms that looks no in no way familiar to you, you know? It's just mm. like a face that's kinda like ever changing and you know, as he's trying to like, you know, find something that's gonna like actually elicit some sort of response. As this is happening, I'm going to speak out to him again. And I'm going to go, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to make someone scared when you've nothing to work with, is it? Maybe I was wrong about the kid. Maybe it's you that I seek. Maybe it is, but without my say-so, you're not going to find anything here. You're going to have to keep constructing your spooky little daydreams and you're gonna have to keep bouncing off it because I don't dream why would I dream after what I've seen you think you can give people nightmares well not me not after what I've seen and then okay for the first time in years I'm going to release the protection from good and evil that I have cast on my own mind to stop my memories and dreams and get good sleep. Okay, is this how you're justifying never failing any of these? I fucking, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Khan has been protecting himself from his PTSD of what happened with Holy Thunder Force. Mm. And I let nice. him feel it. I let myself exist there. I show him my army, my unit, marching through the pass, gleaming with silver, gleaming with blue and gold uniforms. I show him the shadow passing over us. I show him my brothers seeing it happen and raising their hands firm in faith to Lou. And then I show him and let him feel the dread and the slow realization as we don't feel anything, as we come up empty. And then I show him the flames sweeping across my unit. Just decimating us. I show him my commander in my arms looking at me, gasping for air as he turns to ash, falls through my fingers and then I show him the silent, slow walk back to camp knee deep in the ashes of my own army Um, and I let him feel it all 
And I say, you think you know fear? You think you can scare me with these little ghost stories? Nah. You want to see my story? Well, now you have. You want my fear? Oh, you can't have it. You want my pain? You can't have it. I've earned this. I've earned this by living it, and if you think you can do worse, I dare you. I dare you to come up with anything worse than this, because between you and me, friend, I don't think you've got the stones. As you, like, kind of unleash all of these repressed memories and repressed Mm. feelings and repressed emotions and kind of, like, just, like, avalanche it onto him, you hear him, like... Almost this kind of like a weird mix of like ecstasy and pain kind of mm. like comes out. Yes, this is exactly what I've been searching for. Yours is the mind to my sink. I reveal myself you are we of kin. I I don't have any kin. My kin are dead. My kin are dust in the fucking wind. So if you want any part of this story, you'll show your face right now and you'll let me fucking kill you like you deserve. Who are you? And then I will tell you who I am. My name is Con Greystone. I am the bastion of the past. I am the last standing member of Holy Thunder Force. And I am the last face you will ever see the dreamscape like changes like fully just turns into this like inky black everything is like a deep dark shadow and everything that you like look into is like it's not blackness it's just like deep color you know it's like a silver that's so dark it's almost black it's a Mm. purple that's so dark it's almost black it's kind of just this incredibly like weird like almost like other realm that you find yourself in and you see in front of you this like tall slender figure in like robes of black and purple and purple and purple yay <laughs> <laughs> robes resembling what like a wizard or some sort of like arcanist might wear with this like cold dull iron o- armor overlaid it they seem to like blend into this inky blackness of the void of the dreamscape that you're in in the stream theater you can't fully tell where void ends and he begins but what's most striking about him though is his face mm. his smooth purple skin not green Aww. it's completely hairless and where his mouth would be you see four writhing tentacles as he speaks again you see that these flare out revealing a wicked circular mouth Full of rows of dozens of teeth. Well, Con Crystal, I unveil the core, the mind flare. We will meet. Come to me, or I will come to you. Oh, I'll come to you, because I'm making you a promise, Bellacor. I'm gonna make my way to you this minute. I'm going to end your wretched life. But you leave these people alone. Because if I see you in their dreams, I'll know you're not who you said you are. You want me? Their I'm coming for you. Nothing. Yours is the mind that I seek. I will not rest till I've devoured all the secrets within it. Then you just get your rest right now because I'm coming for you. If you want it, I'll serve it up to you on a silver platter. He kind of just, like, in this, like, dreamscape, like, typical horror movie style, like, like, zooms towards you. Yeah, I don't, and, like, I don't move. He just, like, <laughs> expels you from, like, this dream theater that you're in, and you wake up. Get the as, fuck! As you wake up, <laughs> you see Fink, <sighs> Fink's face right in front of yours, screaming like a banshee. Oh, I fucking throw him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we'll... Whoa, whoa, dude! Oh, hey, you're shut awake. The fuck up! Hey, where am I? Oh, yeah. See, I, I thought I, we were trying to wake you up. You were like thrashing about, and I thought you'd want to see a friendly face when you woke up. Hey, hold on. <laughs> I, I take a moment. I take a moment and like catch my breath. Um, uh, back up with the protection. Good and evil. 
Um, I, all right, well, I know who he is. Was he an edge lord? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, Knew it. Like, he's Such the guy, an edge lord. <laughs> the guy's an octagon, like, he's all edges. <laughs> And you were right, he was wearing a purple and black robe. Oh, I could tell. Yeah. Dudes that talk like that always wear the same stupid oh, outfit. Oh, said he was such a tryhard. Like. Was he a frogman? Uh, yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> the one time I tried to have a serious enemy. <laughs> uh, he's a silly looking snake face. Um, but like, what do we, what do, we do with snakes? What was he like? Was he just like? A... <laughs> Sorry, would I? Are mind flayers common knowledge? No, never. No one's ever like. Okay, uh, you referred to himself as a mind they, flayer. So there wouldn't be in any of Sid's books. No, at all. Oh. Okay. Uh, he referred to. He referred to himself. You you get the you get the feeling that like this is a title he has bestowed himself. Not oh like... shit. Okay, like I was the bastion of the past. He was the mind flayer. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, yeah, he's come up with some fucking dark wizard shite. He calls himself <laughs> the Mind Flare. Um, wow. What yeah. an edge lord. <laughs> I know, right? I'm <laughs> not even worried anymore. Like, <laughs> um, You, you would have thought that, like, Hoot's Force was bad enough, but wow, that's taken the cake. <laughs> I know, the culture of naming this land is fucking abysmal. And people say we've got a bad band name. But how is Bowsword better than this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, look, he called. He gave me his name as well. He called himself uh, Balakor. B- Balakor. Yeah, yeah I like think he's like like he's got like a speech three, impediment, no, but he's no, saying no, that he's like he no, drained. He can't <laughs> spell the core. <laughs> they're drained, actually they're actually such a cool band. I feel bad about this. this. <laughs> I know he did the thing. He drained all the color out of the dream, and he changed all the colors down oh. right to me. And he said everything is. Blacker now. Oh, it's blacker. Oh, wow. <laughs> Guy what is... an edgelord. I know, right? Um, but anyway, I did promise I'd kill him. Um, so I know where he is. Fair. Do you want to Do you want to go and do that then? Yeah, or... is, it, is it the direction we thought it was? I, yeah. He's not covered his tracks at all. Like, Well, if it's on the way, I guess we stop by the Nadini dudes. I think it's the same. Like, that's the definite vibe that I got from it. Nice. Um, Which, God, I'm going to be honest with you. Um. Real glad to be getting back in the woods again. <laughs> yeah, like, we've been on some mountains. We've been in some weird places. I would be real thrilled to get back into the woods and not eating salt dust. Yeah, fair. Um, look, that sounds good. <laughs> well, I think it is a mine we're going to. Just so you know, yeah, you do know it. It's a mine again. Um, yeah, we'll say there's there's like a it's like mountain forest area. It's yeah. not it's not like a typical woods. But it, it's like a mountain forest. Still in kind of yeah, I thought you very were... typical I thought, horror film well, I couldn't get... situation. Like yeah. a mine in the mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. couldn't get out of uh, Sid's voice there. That was weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you had said that it was kind of in a like foresty area on the uh, mountain side. It's there are definitely far. There is forest around for sure. Um, it's like dug into the forest mine. Like yeah, it's it's more like. You know when you're at the side of a mountain and there's far it's like forestry, it's it's a mix, basically. Mm. It's not like harsh, rugged landscape and the the mine itself is in kind of like like a little bit a bit of a valley okay. clearing uh, is where the mine is and there's forests around it. Yeah, cool. Cool. All right, well look, go go uh, go gather your stuff. I'll meet you down in the um Hey, uh, I haven't slept yet and it's like three AM. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, look, we're gonna be a little jet lagged. Um <laughs> Yeah, fucking uh, the, dream it's wizards. It's probably like yeah, in the it's probably like approaching bedtime now. Oh, okay. All right. Because yeah. like it was like four or five when you did this. You've probably been sleeping a couple, maybe a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. Before you got into it, so but we can just say you guys go to sleep for the night and then or <laughs> yeah, you're like let's go and I'm like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah you're going down from this caffeine crash real hard. It's going to be real weird. We're on opposing sleep cycles <laughs> yeah. the whole time. <laughs> So yeah, I'll Constantly play, for, the, I'll the, play the, for half an hour the... and then you play for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, Perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. Sure. Look, we'll head to bed then. Um, have some more of the tea. Uh, I found it helps you sleep well. Um, I be, I'm just going to the, I, I got to use the jacks. I'm old. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to walk out of the room. Um, Khan is going to find kind of like a, kind of an empty corner upstairs, like maybe one of the rooms that isn't in, um, 
in use in or whatever use, okay. and just kind of absolutely break down like <laughs> decompress a bit and just because this is the first time he's actually mm. acknowledged any of this um in like years so sid yeah. isn't stupid his mom is a dreamwalker mm-hmm. he just asked melody to play you know lullabies you, from there you and i'm gonna be yeah. like you fully know that you have almost manipulated Khan into a real dark and you know exactly how dark the, that those dreams get so i'm gonna go downstairs and i'm going to find johnny okay and uh it's compound the pain like. Sid's gonna go up to johnny <laughs> and sit at his table nope yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Please, I'm the me. <laughs> The man in blacker. The man, the man in black black and purple. All along. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a great reveal. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hold on. We're going to redo the campaign real quick. <laughs> Eat all his donkeys. Well, mm. uh, well, Sid, uh, what can I, what can I do for you? It's, uh, it's been kind of a rough, uh, rough day or two kind of getting over the whole, whole Mercedes thing. What's, uh, I know, man. And listen, I know Khan sat with you, and I know Khan took a lot of the blame. But I want to say to you, first off, I'm the ranger in the group. I'm the tracker. We got in a fight. Mercedes got spooked. Mercedes ran off. Khan went ahead of me trying to track her. I followed after as soon as I could, and I did my best, and I unfortunately just did not get there fast enough. Like... I know Khan took a lot of that blame, and I know he does that a lot because he sees himself as, like, you know, the main one in the group. But I came out on my own. I know a lot of the world doesn't see it this way, but in town, when you hit 17, you're to act and behave as an adult. Like, it's my responsibility. I'm the ranger. I didn't get there. And listen, I'm not coming here to beg for forgiveness. I mean, I obviously am, but that's not the point of why I'm here. The point of why I'm here is because I want to talk about Khan's character. Khan took that on himself to take the blame for what happened and came to you rather than having his, what in his mind is a is quite young companion. Especially because the rest of the world, you know, outside of town sees me that way. And the thing is, is that things have been really hard for Khan. And Khan has found a kindred soul in you when he met you. Khan is upstairs right now really struggling because he's been forced to come face to face with a lot of his demons and I know things are hard for you right now and I know you're struggling and I know you're feeling very sad because of what happened but if I could just ask this favor of maybe if you all could just be there for each other and not have that resentment toward him put it all on me if you could just go up there and be there for him I know he won't take it the same if I try to. Give me a persuasion check. With advantage, I think that was a uh, fairly compelling. It was very fucking compelling. Well, that's a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Look, kid, uh, I really appreciate the honesty. Uh, I do... Um, uh, it's been a while. I, I remember what it was like to be 17 at one stage, too, believe it or not. But, um, you know, it, yeah, the rest of the world might not see you uh, as an adult, but, you know, I think you're, you're on your way there. And you made a good first, good first step. Um, first step's always the hardest, but it's, it's mm. good. Uh, <laughs> look, uh, you know, obviously a hurt, but it gets lonely on the road. Mercedes and Tez are my my companions, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let kindred spirit hurt by himself. It's uh, I know what it's like to be lonely. I don't want him to be lonely too. Uh, where, where is he? I'll I'll go up to him. He's upstairs. He's in room 406. Yes, <laughs> big fucking uh, in. 
<laughs> no wonder they're resorting to sawdust. The, the upkeep on this taste must be phenomenal. <laughs> um, Johnny goes up to uh, to Con. Uh, Jim, I'm gonna put this into your court. How do you want to? Oh, fuck! I see. I see Johnny. Con sees Johnny come in and uh, immediately turns away and mm. like kind of like tries to rub fucking tears out of his eyes. Like, yeah. Um, he's like, right. how's, it, how's it? How's it going, Johnny? Um, listen, I know you're. Uh, I know you're upset about. Um, um not not here to. To retread old old ground, and he uh, he takes out um, his hip flask and he just he offers it to you. I like look in his eyes, and I see like that he's, you know, he's actually here for a reason, and he's kind of like halfway concerned. And I'm like, how did you, how did you know? Obviously, uh, I take the hip flask. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, <laughs> I hand him my hip flask. Um, <laughs> Look, you're. Uh, I saw what you're, what you're doing for the town, what you're trying to do. I know, I know it's good heart in there. He kind of like you know, taps on your chest a little bit. Mm. Um, I, I, I might have been too harsh, but you know, I think think you know what it's like to struggle with expressing your emotions and kind of handling that, especially when you're been by herself for for so long so I kind of just Con is like barely holding it together <laughs> he's like quivering lip eyes like squinting <laughs> look um, we can go, just go into my room we can just sit down and have a drink if that's what you want I I'd, I think I like that Johnny <laughs> I like shut up before I break kind of thing and yeah, he just he brings you to his room. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. And I'm going to sleep. <laughs> okay, so the the night passes. You all wake up in the morning. Um, you would know how you can get to uh, Nadini. Is there anything that you'd like to do before you leave, or are you guys kind of just happy to just head out? Um, yeah, grab some rations and go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we're on we're on the hunt now. Yeah, as you're grabbing rations and stuff like that, um, you know, you're maybe uh just waiting in the common room um for, for Vanny to kind of grab you some stuff and uh, little Hector um oh, runs no, in. Got to Hector. Uh hey, oh, Hector. Oh, it's con. Hey. Hey Hector, uh, how are you? I give him the the fist bump we'd worked out previously. It's up, down, left, right, swing. <laughs> yeah. Um he does that. He kind of fumbles it a bit. Um like i've been practicing all the sword stuff you you, you taught me oh hi right, come on show us that um he takes out this like wooden sword that he has and starts like thinking like i almost have it and i think you'd shown him like one move that like he's actually kind of like you can tell he's been doing nothing but, nothing that but for, practice like, it, yeah. yeah um I, i've almost got this is, is there something else you can you can show me oh hi right, of course so that move there when you bring it up above your head that'll that'll defend everything but then the beauty of this move is see that position your arm is in there yeah uh Straighten your arm, like Aye. like I'm, like I'm, like I'm punting. Uh, yeah, exactly like you're punching, but uh, punch with the tip of the sword <gasps> and, and just drive it. Is through. that not gonna hurt hurt people? I, I hate to break it to you, son, but that's the <laughs> point of the thing in your hand. I mean, like you learn it, but you have to remember that that thing you have in your hand is made for hurting people. So you have to be very very careful with it and only use it when it's absolutely necessary. Okay. So remember. Block and punch. Okay, I, I got I got it. Um what are you what are you guys up to? What are you what are you doing? Are you are you guys still called the, the bow swords? Did you just do For now, yeah. I <laughs> Yeah. We're still the bow swords. It's the best name. Probably we've heard until in a we get to time. another town. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I think someday I'm gonna be in a band like you guys. You guys are oh, what are you gonna cool. call your band? Uh Hector and the Gang. That's nice. So good. Aye. That's so good. Yeah. Um, anyway, I, I got to go help my mom um, do something in the kitchen, but I'll, I'll see you later. Carl. Yeah, you go on, Hectic Hector. I'll talk to you later. Uh, and he gives uh, Fink a little rub behind the ear as he as he rushes it back into the kitchen as well. Fink gives him a little lap of the tongue. He kind of like, he's like, oh, <laughs> he, he's real cute. 
Um, <laughs> he's like gotten re- like really used to having Fink around. Yeah. Like, yeah. um, Vanny is probably also tasked him with like, keeping it like Fink away from the kitchen and distracting <laughs> him and stuff. You know, <laughs> did did Vanny get the thing yet? No, she wouldn't have had time in one night to get the the leather thing. No, yet. not yet. Okay. Um, yeah, we're so like I'm gonna take his outfit off of him because if he catches on at least, fire, no, gonna... stop. At least wait until we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Get out of the like, yeah. yeah, when we leave, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, depending on how long you guys are away for, she'll probably have it ready for it in the same way that oh, she Oh, maybe had. we should just give it to her then so she can line it while we're gone, mm. right? Yeah, that makes sense. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we can say that you did that. We're very worried yeah. about this vest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan's like, come on. I'm yeah. watching Dylan's that. like, I've introduced this villain. You're like, yeah, whatever, Blackheart. The vest. <laughs> <laughs> Don't singe the vest. Uh, yeah, so you guys um, head out. Are you guys going to head to the the stables and try to get a horse, or what are you what are you doing? Yeah, so you had said there's a, a stable halfway. Well, Sid doesn't want to. Sid is more than happy for Con to Con. I'm more than happy for you to get a horse and ride on that. Fink and I are going to go into like oh riding a horse. No, no, you must be mad. Like, what am I a soft boy? No, no not fair, fair I'll, enough. I'll, I'll, I will march, young man. Now march. <laughs> All right. But uh, we're going to stick off to the side of the trail a bit because, like, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on, like, everywhere we go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So <laughs> I would a, like to get a good really idea. dangerous world we live in. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather not be caught off guard by some of this, you know, like, let's go into straight ranger mode. Cool. So, yeah. Sid and... Okay. So... It's going to take you, if you're not going to take a horse and you're kind of going off the beat. Well, I do your, ranger to, I... Bu- your ranger bullshit means you can travel at the same speed. Yep. It's maybe going to take probably like four hours to walk there rather than kind of like the, the two hours it would have taken if you're taking a horse or something. Forage for herbs as well with my herbalism. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I've forgotten about that element of gameplay. <laughs> You've had us in towns too much. Yeah, yeah that's it. You took. Um, the, you can take the ranger out of the woods. Uh, but... Yeah, give, give me a, a survival check for that. What are you doing at the... You said uh, I just want to there. find the stable hand. Okay, so you're, are you still going through the... Oh, but like I'm gonna go with it's it's, it's like, pretty much on the path. Yeah, can I? You would go know that with... they would have like, you know, they would have like used that as an opportunity to change horses, so it's kind of like yeah, it's like as fresh as stuff. possible. Yeah. yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna march along the road, knowing that it is like, you know, yeah, off. like ranger bullshitting in the woods. Yeah, like, um, there's a ranger bullshit in the woods. <laughs> yeah, if a ranger bullshits in the woods and nobody's around, <laughs> um, does it does it roll its damage dice? Uh, <laughs> I got a sixteen on that though. Yeah, it does. Nice. I've <laughs> got a point where I have all those notes. <laughs> Part of it was how much tea I would forage. <laughs> <laughs> um, while you're looking for those notes, basically, I just want to um, I want to ask the person at the stall if they sell donkeys. Uh, yeah, they would. Yeah, I want to get um, a young a donkey. Of course, I could sell you a donkey. Oh no! Hold on now. <laughs> oh no! But Sid's not there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just buy, I just want to buy a young donkey and be like, I, can you, um, can you send this one back to town? Uh, courtesy or, or, or care of Johnny. Oh man, of I think Johnny. that's such a bad idea. Why? Because he had like real good, like thoroughbred. You it's like, just, it's, it's, I'm the, sure he does good, like I'm sure the, the man these, does These good guys work. would have, would like, would have like good, good stock. Yeah. Okay. Give me the best donkey. And didn't, give me a young one. That can still be trained up and stuff, you know, but strong enough to pull a cart. Do we have money for that? I have, I have pretty money. I'm gonna say this is probably for a uh, like donkeys and horses are not cheap. They're, yeah, uh, I'm gonna say it's. I have no idea because we don't do economy ever ever since ever since the ever since that shopping podcast, yeah the shopping <laughs> the shopping incident. I've kind of just tried to avoid. I don't think I even have how much gold we had. You had you just had the the military pay. Yeah, you. I'm gonna say I had money from monster fighting as well. Yeah, didn't I? I'm gonna say it's gonna cost you the rest of your fondals. Yeah, fine. I um, don't care for fun. No, uh, yeah, uh, we're I think the same level. Yeah, yeah. You guys are now broke. No, I've got a little bit gardens. because uh, there's because one thing I want to give you. You've got enough for like you know basic provisions and stuff. Yeah, uh, and Melody would have some some from like the label essentially to kind of mm. keep you guys going. Um, People just kind of give us food whenever we show up places. So I mean, this is why town doesn't give its like 
it's uh, not missionaries. That's the wrong word. Um, it's students like any money when they leave, like a little bit, but like yeah, you're yeah, you're, town, given, they... you're given some, but like they don't have a a concept. It's like for everyone who leaves ten, they're all hit with this like rude awakening of oh, I gotta get like a part time job. Or something, <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> um, that's so funny. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can uh, you get uh, a nice. Uh, pony are you getting it sent back yeah i want a a donkey a donkey yeah yeah uh yeah and i just i get my my little knife and on its collar i just carve the word like fucking peugeot (laughs) (laughs) and i uh, i said was there a better no it's it's peugeot uh (laughs) it's got a mercedes and a tesla and you sent him a peugeot yeah well you were saying it's like he's got thoroughbreds like and i'm just sending him (laughs) a donkey like it's a good donkey but it's going to be called peugeot uh, can well you just micro? Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't know cars. I don't know their nice no, car. No, it's it's Peugeot. Oh, it's really... no, this one's no. It's... No, it can't be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Peugeot. Uh, I go. Can you just send this um to um to the last resort care of Johnny Cash, please? Sure thing. Uh, partner, <laughs> <laughs> he sends you the soft. <laughs> yeah. Grand. Uh, right. I have no more money. Uh, I guess I keep marching. You find um five. Uh, of those healing herbs hey nice um are there any new plants that i learned like is there is there anything that i learn about the wilderness or anything like that any new plants i find or stuff what are looking for anomalies 16 yeah not this close to stone reach this is like kind of um still a fairly kind of well-traveled kind of kept road like just like kind of farmland and stuff around here you know um so you're like you were just quite lucky to find what you did um yeah i want to i want to keep scrounging kind of at the same time as i'm going you know not fully but like yeah i will say kind of through the course of the this full travel up to uh thing you get five like bushels of the the lover's leaf healing herb nice um i love that leaf mm, they're very good you guys um are walking along the road um you notice said that uh, it is becoming a little bit more woodsy and, and foresty um like it's it's quite easy to to find your way because again it, it was a very busy right like, like a yeah, yeah. very prominent road that you can just follow it's along. grown over but still very obvious it, it, like. it, exactly yeah um give me a survival check okay or a perception check actually actually perception check can i re-roll then yes <laughs> thank god <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I had started to speak before I saw what was, what was on the dice, so I, 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 had, I had made my mind up. Perception is great, because I got a plus five on that, so that's 16. Okay. Even with that, you find old tracks, um, probably about a month old, from a large group of people that have walked through here. Okay. And with 15, you find one that's... A month old, so it must be a very large group. Very large group. And what's very unusual about one track in particular is that it seems to be two sets of footsteps about a person apart. You know, as if it's three people walking shoulder to shoulder. But the per- instead of footsteps in the middle, there's like something being dragged as if someone is like dragging something. And this has like that like a quite like a deep like gouge into mm. the into the earth not not in all places but you know kind of enough that you're kind of like seeing it over and over again um but you're not seeing any other um tracks coming out they all kind of be leading towards where this village is and as you're kind of getting to the uh closer to the village and you're in the woods and particularly because you're kind of like staying away from the roads and stuff are you trying to be stealthy as you're approaching well now i am Uh, (laughs) khan doesn't know any of this he's whistling a soldier song as he walks i hack a big branch off a tree 
takes real life. I mean, we've not been told any reason to think that Nadini were bad, but I have mm-hmm. seen... I only asked because you had, as you started out, you'd mentioned that. It would be my basic, like... Okay, tell me... Not, not too stealthy, what's because... Your, like, what's your passive stealth? So, in the same way that passive perception is like 10 plus your perception modifier, what's 10 plus your your stealth modifier 19 fucking hell holy god <laughs> uh, okay sometimes you don't have a reflection like... I know, I... Fink and I do not make noise you come across you're kind of um you're just ranger bullshitting all over the place right you're and you're doing it in such like you've kind of really gone back to your roots of like I'm enjoying Fine. being out of a town. You're enjoying being out of the town. You're like, you're not familiar with these forests, but you're familiar with the forest, you know? And you're walking through and you see just kind of above you uh, and ahead of you uh, a figure in a tree of what you see is an elf. And they are not looking at you and you would kind of i'm gonna say your passive reception passive insight is probably enough that like they have like a bow out but it doesn't look like they're in a good position to be firing a bow from this tree like they don't really look like they know what they're doing Mm. and uh yeah they don't you know they don't seem to be like actively hunting you you're not really sure what they're doing what do you do going to fall back a bit because I have Khan always follow me about you know like 30 seconds behind Mm -hmm. at all times so I'm always kind of scouting just because you're a burly dude Mm. Um, and I'm (laughs) snake my way pop up behind him like he's not expecting because apparently I just don't make noise anywhere I go yeah Um, and I just go there's a scout get to fuck (laughs) (laughs) Jesus I'm sorry God, kid, stop doing that. I'm too shh, old. Shh, You're not gonna give me what? There's a scout or a sentry, whatever you want to call it, in a tree. I'll bet. All right. Um. Okay. Fine. How far? Oh. Uh, also, if I could see them and see them well enough to see that it's a bow, do they have the like clothing and stuff like that, like we would be expecting from Nadini? Do they? Yeah. You see that. You would recognize that this person kind of is wearing a leather jacket and not a leather jacket in the way that your kind of like studded leather punk metal mm. vest is. Cool. cool. It's more like a rockabilly style. Okay. With kind of like, you know, denim jeans and stuff. Um, He's tracking a denim jeans. <laughs> like very much... Um, like very tight jeans as well uh but yeah from kind of i say you've probably asked around about nadini and stuff like that it's very much their style okay yeah i mean we're not trying to like you know start anything with these dudes but they do have a scout up in a tree so just wanted to warn you uh I'm probably going to pop up into the tree beside this dude. Hi. Just say hey to him. Because he's only armed with a bow. So if they are just confrontational for no reason, I'm totally going to have to jump on him. But, yeah. You cool with that, Con? Hi, absolutely. I just don't want to get into combat without you. Like, That's ready. Good. I'll trudge my way over there now. Yeah. So we do a thing where, you know, Sid, or Fink is a beast, you mm-hmm. know? But he's also very aware, but he's going to act like he's not aware mm. and just look like a Oh, he's playing the dumb rat like. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While I climb up in the tree behind this dude. Yeah, and you see that kind of thing starts making a, a fair bit of like noise and like scuffling around in very much the same way that like a badger might or something like that, you know? Um, kind of like, you know, just sniffing around the undergrowth and, and things like that. And you see that very much that this elf starts like looking towards that, but then like just look, looks very confused because he's just seen a giant rat in a flannel vest. <laughs> <laughs> no, we took it off of him. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. 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 So he just, just looks was, like a beast. Yeah. yeah. 
He he's doesn't like, have skin on a lot of his he's body. Like, well, oh, what is that? Uh, what, I've never seen that before. <laughs> I would have figured he would have seen rats and things like that. Well, yeah, yeah, but he hasn't like eaten this. rat, yeah. Um, and I'm behind him and I go, uh, I think his friends what? like food. <laughs> what? Is, what? Who are you? What? What is going on? Hey, man. Uh, what? You were hanging out in this tree, and it just looked cool, so I thought I'd come say hi. How did, how did you do that? How did, how did you get there? I climbed the tree. But I, I did not see you. How? Uh, you were looking uh, that way. Oh, I should look everywhere. everywhere. Oh, man, I've uh, really let the side down. Are you, uh, <laughs> are you, are you part of Nadini? Uh, we, yeah. Mm, mm, uh, I am called. Sh- no. Uh, I'm uh, uh, Presley, yes, uh, part of the... the You're Presley? The yeah. Nice, we... dude. My name's Sid. Nice to meet you. I'm from town. Oh, well, I'm uh, not... Uh... Oh, no, I probably am familiar with town. I'm from the uh, the west of there, so uh, oh, what uh, brings you to uh, Nadini? So we heard you dudes have, like, been moving from your regular place, and we were coming to make sure you were all right. Oh, well, uh, to be honest, uh, not, not that... Uh... Not that great, to be honest. Um, I'm kind of here. A few of our people have uh, gone missing. Uh, we think there's some sort of missing. like, yeah, some sort of like beast or something around. I thought it was. Is that, that's your. Oh yeah, that's Fink. That? That's Fink. That's my friend. Fink okay. is friends, not food. Okay. Um, to be honest, I'm not really good with the whole hunting thing. Um, I'm just the uh, the only elf, and they kind of were like, "Oh, you come from the like the woodlands? Maybe you can do it." Uh, Are you re- playing century up here? Uh, no, I'm actually, uh, this is how you hunt, no? Oh, uh, you can hunt like this, but y- this area, like, especially in the mountains, the type of stuff that you're going to get around here, being up in a tree probably isn't the best way. You probably want to be down at their level, man. No, oh, I see. You can scout, but you would need a second person with you. Uh, and I'm going to show him how to make a, like, a nest real quick out of branches so he's okay, a bit more sure. stable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just real he's, quick, he's like, like weave him. Really precariously, like like he has like one hand not even on his boat, like just gripping another branch like super tight. Like yeah. he is like so uncomfortable up <laughs> he here. He somehow has like five points of contact. Yeah. He's pressing his back to <laughs> yeah. it. Like, yeah. Because you got to remember, man, like the type of, of yeah, animals honest, I'm also are... kind of afraid of the heights. It's not great up here. <laughs> oh, well then, yeah, don't do the scouting technique. Like you got to remember that the animals that live up around this area, like in the, you know, on the mountains and stuff like that they're very like sneaky little types because that's what they're used to so like it's very good to be down at their area and kind of you know approach them quietly which that's one thing maybe work on uh, you know like i did but like Mm. anyway like then you can get them like catch them off guard especially if always hunt like with somebody else with you like at least one more person because then when you spook them one person spooks them the other person is ready to get them ta-da because you're not going to get your huge beasts in this type of area. And it's I more like have, goats I and I should have been like things. paying more attention to uh, what, my, what my sisters have been telling me. But uh, I mean, that's why I, I left to come join the Dini. So, um, but actually, you said there's a beast. Like by beast, do you mean beast? Or by beast, do you mean like monster? Uh, who knows? We've not, we've not seen it. That's why I'm in this tree trying to, trying to find it, you know? Mm. Fair enough. Is it like frequently taking people? Is it like scheduled taking people, or uh, is it just like occasional? No, taking just people? kind of uh, a few people have uh, gone missing. Uh, there have been kind of like a uh, weird kind of prints and stuff that uh, we've seen. Prints, um, yeah. Fingerprints? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> like, can you show me what they look like? What do they look like? Uh, we kind of need to. Uh, okay, look, you you kind of seem nice, so we need to uh, bring you to a uh, to a uh, Melda, yeah. She, yeah. She would, uh, she would know. Is, is it a Melda May? Yes, it's a Melda May. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, anyway, look, um, okay, is it, uh, just, just you and this, uh, little rat thing, or? No, we've also got a dude hiding in that bush over there. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually rolled a 19 on my step. Amazing. <laughs> um, he's, he's a little hungover, of, but, like, he's all right. Kind of doing that thing where he's trying to, like, wade through the bush to get out <laughs> of it, but he, like... You know, he like I'm stuck with one leg on either side yeah. of the bush, kind of. Thing. At least he's trying to help you yeah. over it. What level of hungover are you, by the way? Oh, after, like, I'm not here. Like, <laughs> yeah, after being out with Johnny last night, yeah, drinking away your sadness. Yeah, um, re- like, yeah, you could hide in the shadows below my eyes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay, well, maybe I, uh, 
I can bring you to uh, Imelda. We could we could really use someone like uh, like you if you know seem to know what you're what you're talking about. Maybe you can give give us a hand if that's uh, sure. I can try to, you, man. Um, and I latch up a rope onto it, and I go. Let's get down the tree using this man. You don't he look like, super steady. Like it takes him a solid like four minutes to climb down this rope. Like he is <laughs> terrified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Well. Uh, look, I, I we're we're just kind of nearly at the at the at the village. Um. Anyway. Uh. So yeah. My my name is uh Presley, but there's actually uh there's actually many Presleys here. Kind of Presley is the name that uh you know we are, we are given before we before we kind of accepted by nadini yeah oh nice yeah so uh if you are looking for me um you must ask for the elvish presley elvish presley i fucking love this place already <laughs> <laughs> i cannot wait to do the art for this <laughs> and you walk into uh he, he brings into this village everyone's wearing these like big like rockabilly style dresses like you know they've got like the big like quiffs a lot of them are wearing like um like head scarves and things, kind of like like you know like super cool for everyone's uh, all boys. Like, yeah, so uh, yeah, welcome uh, welcome to uh, Nadini, and uh, we will uh, see you on the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> hey, very good, <laughs> nice, <laughs> love it. An Elvish Presley, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Love it to bits. <laughs> That's so good.